I think the world has also gone completely bonkers over other things. And that includes, uh, um, I think most of my listeners would agree, uh, over COVID and lockdowns and uh, demands for things like a vaccine passports and proving that you have a uh, COVID free status. But ever before, we had to prove uh, that we're free of disease. Normally, it's just taken as a given that we're free of disease. But no, not in pandemic times. Well, uh, one man who is uh, leading the uh, race for a no jab, no job rule is Charlie Mullins. He's the founder of Pimlico Plumbers. Charlie that's the only mention you're going to get for the name of your firm. Uh, he joins us right now. Um, Charlie, you, you've basically, you're the first employer to implement this rule. How's it going to work? Well, pretty straightforward. I mean, as a company, we have an obligation to keep our customers and workers safe. And the vaccination is the, uh, is the only cure we've got at the moment or the only answer. So it's all about safety. It's all about safety of our staff, safety of our customers. Um, so it's going to work. I mean, you know, uh, people are all sort of um, saying that uh, it's not going to work. But you've got to remember 75 percent of the adult population has, has had the jab. Yeah, and, exa uh, well, it, well, well, exactly. So if 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 most of the adult population has had the jab um, and certainly all the people who are vulnerable, who might be your customers, will have had the jab and had access to the jab or if they've chosen not to take it if or if they perhaps um, they can't take it for health reasons, will obviously be avoiding having contact with the plumber when they come and keeping away from them. Windows open, etc, etc. Why is it necessary for your staff to prove that they've had a particular health treatment in order to get a job? Do you require them to also prove their uh, their status uh, for flu or any other issues? Well, no, you obviously know we don't, Julie. And, and no, why, the, why, why don't you? Why don't I what? Why don't you ask for proof that someone's had the flu jab? Well, because they, we, we don't have a pandemic of that all over the world. Um, killing millions flu, of no, flu, flu kills thousands of people every single course, year. And people who have the flu jab are protected from it. Sure. Flu is actually much more dangerous for younger people than, than COVID yeah, but, but, is. Julie, you're, you're talking about something that, that's not what we're on the programme about. The programme's about the vaccination. The vaccination that, uh, and the ep epidemic that's killing millions of people, shutting businesses down, shutting down the UK. Uh, and, you know, COVID is a flu anyhow. So, well, it's not. It's, uh, well, it's, um, not, it's not the same. COVID's not the same as the flu. COVID is far more dangerous uh, for, the very, for older people, all of whom have been offered the vaccine and the vast majority of whom have taken it, in which case they're protected. Why do you have to say to your plumbers... If you haven't had a jab and you haven't proven to me that you've had a jab, then you can't work. Why do you have a right to see their medical records? Why do I have a right? Well, as an employer, as I said, we have an obligation to protect our staff and protect our customers. So so what, why would we allow people in our building or working for us that can go around spreading the epidemic? It's all about safety. I well, mean, well no, hold on a minute, but this is where we come back to the flu. Because flu is also Sorry? a danger. Why Do you check that people have had their MMR yeah, as well? But why are we talking about flu when we're talking about the... the because it's the, the same uh, principle. You're saying this is... A, so you're concerned yeah. about protecting your customers and your That's staff correct. from one disease, yeah. but you're not bothered about the others. Of course I'm bothered about it. Of course but you I, don't, I, I but you're mean, not going to be asking for proof of a flu jab. Yeah, but as I say, you, you, you're coming away from what we're on the, on the radar. No, I'm about, not. You know? No, no, Charlie, this is exactly the same topic. Do you, as an employer, as someone who provides a service to people yeah, in the homes, to have you're the right on... to ask for people's personal medical records? I don't think you do. Julie, look, you're, you're against the vaccination, yeah? No, not at all. I'm very pro-jab. I've had my okay. two jabs, even though I've okay, had COVID. So, so, so if and when... Employers come into your office. Uh, are you okay that they come in and have not been vaccinated? Are yeah, okay absolutely. With that? Yeah, absolutely fine. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, that's fine. But I can't imagine that the people that run your um, business is going to be okay. With well, that. no, we, I mean, we don't. We we don't in, in, in my building in Talk Radio Towers, News UK. We we people are not required to provide proof of having a jab to walk into the building. People are people yeah, are people are asked to wear masks. People. Julie, people look, People are asked we, not we, to come to the office if they are any we risk. Disagree. You're a bright lady and you understand the importance of having the vaccination. And the more safe feel that we can make it for our workers and our customers, that's what we need to do. I mean, why, why are people making an issue of it? I'm not the bad guy here. The bad guys are the people that won't have it, don't have it, or, or, or just want to go around spreading the epidemic, you know. They're not. Why, people, why are, aren't, people aren't bad guys. Look, I, I, I think that if you're at risk, and you're higher at risk, I mean, you're over 50, certainly over 70s. If you're overweight, you've got any health reasons and you're not taking the jab, I think that's a foolish decision. But it, we do actually allow people to make their own decisions about their own health in this and country. They can make their own decision. I'm not forcing anyone 
Uh, Julie. But you're saying oh, I won't give you a job. Are you going to sack people who've okay, already got a job if they won't show you their vaccine I'm passport? Sure or is it just new employees? Look, Julie, if they didn't have the proper qualification, I wouldn't give them the job. If they wasn't having the right experience, I wouldn't give them a job. That's not discriminating. You know, I, that's, I, I but that's right. relevant. But that but that's relevant, Charlie, to, to the job. Well, you can still be a plumber having not. What about someone who says, um, I have had the vaccine, but I refuse to show my proof of my vaccine to you because it's none of your damn business, Mr. Mullins. Uh, I, I'm going to disagree with you totally. Uh, it's my business who I employ, who I have in my building. And I'll go back to what I'm saying. It's about the safety of it. Look, it's not a big deal if, if um, they've not had the jab. Go and work for some else i mean you know, what's the problem i'm not i'm not forcing anybody we're saying is that the the, the government are offering you uh, a way out of this for everybody's safety if people don't want to have it no problem but you won't be working i won't mention the company as you said you won't be working for us <laughs> but the, but, it's not, but, but and make, I, I come back to this a, issue are you is your it. concern <laughs> Julie, take a breath for a minute i'm you, you've got me on the thing let me have a chat you know that's I, I, I thought you just finished <laughs> well, I ain't, because you keep interrupting me. Look, you know how it works, Julie. The safety is the most important thing. Look, there's no big deal with my stuff. They're all happy about it. They're, they're all over the moon. We're testing them every day, or not every day, every few days. We've got geared up to try and, you know, be in control of the situation. Customers are over the moon. They're asking for engineers that have been vaccinated. You know, oh, I mean, I mean I'll, Char Charlie, I'll tell you right categorically. On principle, I would never, if, if my home was being flooded right now and you were the only plumber in town, on principle, I would not use your services well, because your of that policy. That's your choice. Get, get, get a two bob plumber in who, who's got, who ain't been vaccinated. I mean, that's your choice. You, you pay for a service, you pay for quality, you pay for safety. But it's not a big deal, uh, Julie. You know, you're it is a big deal to somebody who's looking for a job. But I've, let me come back to the question I just asked you. Is this about new people getting a job or are you saying to people who are existing staff, if you don't show me proof of your jab, you're going to be sacked? Yeah, you're trying to put words in my mouth. I'm it, asking is... you a question, Charlie. That's different. Answer the question. Please don't shout. I'm not your husband. We're not man and wife having a row. Uh, you ask me a question, I'll give you an answer. We're, we're dealing with new people that are going to start in September uh -huh. when hopefully the, the vaccination is rolled out completely. And, and we're saying then, you know, we're not going to be taking you on unless you've been vaccinated. Okay. But, you're, but, you're, but you're happy to send out, therefore, staff who are already employed by you who may not have no, provided said, the no, vaccine proof. That. No, I never said that at all. But, um, but you don't want to continue employing those people. I never said that either. What I'm saying is when the time comes that we're going to be adding it to their contracts, which has been legally passed by our lawyers, Ms. Yeah. Raya, and they're very happy with it. And, and our staff, if, if they're not happy with it, they need to go and get a job somewhere else. I mean, you know, this is, uh, this is about safety of people, Julie. It's yourself and a lot of these other busybodies that are making a big deal about it. I mean, busybodies? You, you... I'm not the person demanding to see employees' star medical records. So why don't, you, why don't you tell the government they're wrong for letting for telling people, we're suggesting you have the jab. It's rolled out. We, 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 we're spending lots of money to safeguard people. Are the government wrong then? Are they wrong for Sorry, telling Charlie... people that? Charlie, do you understand that there is a very big difference between rolling out a medical treatment, a vaccination programme that will save lives and encouraging people to take that vaccine and people taking that vaccine and the right of an employer to ask about people's medical records? I'm not asking no one's medical You records. are. I'm when you're asking, asking for proof of a vaccine, you're asking for proof of their medical records. I'm asking them, have you had the jab or yes, not? Yes, that's a medical problem. record. Oh, OK, so what's the big issue about that then? I mean, do you want to know about someone's, you know, background? You want to see their med mental health records? You don't want to know whether they've had a flu jab? Do you want to know anything? I mean, what? what I, this is my point is, I don't believe that you should have the right okay. to pry into people's medical past. No, you, 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 you're, you're making yourself busy about nothing. I mean, at the making end of the day... Making myself dizzy. Oh, you make yourself busy, Julie. You know, you know how it works. I mean, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not the bad guy. I'm employing 450 people. I'm giving people... A job. We're That's getting, great. We're, we're, we're giving customers a good service. Am I a bad guy? I I'm I not mean, saying you're a bad guy. I'm just saying you're. I, I, I well, just think you don't. Me. I don't think you understand the implications of what you are doing and how serious that is, and what an incredible invasion really? of people's privacy really? that is. Look, really, millions of people dying all over the world, and I don't understand what's going on. Well, millions of people uh, aren't dying in this country, are they? 
Oh, People really. have had the vaccination. So with the mass vaccination programme that has had massive take up, a million people in their 20s signed up to get their vaccinations only on Tuesday alone. You haven't got a problem. The vaccine works. People are taking the okay, vaccine. Well, we'll, we will have her. I think we already have herd immunity. We've got herd That's immunity wonderful. coming up. So why would you need to do, worry about it? Well, you want to make sure that whoever you, you've got coming, working for you. No, you're nodding your head, Julie, and all that, but you know you're wrong. I mean, come on. You know I don't, you're wrong. You know, I, I you know, don't know you I'm know wrong that, because I, I think that what you're doing is... Okay, a, Julie, so when they, when they say to you, get on a, on a plane and you've got to have had the jab, mm. uh, are you going to say, oh, don't ask me about my medical record? Oh, I've, say, I've, I've said very, very clearly, um, and I got the jab. Um, I, I've, I've got the jab for a number of different reasons, uh, but, but Julie, I want to be able to get on a plane um, and I want to know also that I'm no risk to anybody else, but, um, but because awesome. I'd already had COVID, so I wasn't concerned about that. But no, but if other countries, I have no control over how they govern their countries, just choose to have require me to have had a double jab to get on the plane to their country, that is their choice. But I refuse ever, under any circumstance, to show my medical records in this well, country. Well, you have shown a medical record. You'll have an app on your phone. And, and, and of your medical have... records. OK, so when you go to a theatre... Julie no, Shelby. I wouldn't. I wouldn't show. No, I. Then I. There are a number of things. If I never get to go to a football match or the theatre or so anything you, like that so again, you, so be it. Okay. So you're not going to go to theatre. You're not going to go to bars. If, or if pubs it's or required, well, they're not going to bring it in in bars and pubs. If it is, no, it is a massive invasion of people's personal privacy. It's unnecessary. Uh, it won't save uh, a single life. Oh, look. It sounds like you know better than my lawyers. So Mr. on the rail is saying what we're doing is for the safety of our workers and customers. Yeah. Oh, it's so, oh, it's legal. It's legal, Charlie. I just oh, think it's morally you. wrong. Thank we'll have to leave it there. We're, we're way over time. I'm going to carry on getting dizzy and busy or whatever it was you said. Charlie Mullins, who uh, runs a plumbing company. Uh, thank you very much indeed, Charlie.